this clip, I teach you a simplified exercise to cause your psoas muscles to release. This is not a stretch. It's a procedure that changes muscle movement memory. You should do this exercise if you have groin pain, deep belly pain, say around behind the stomach, or in the abdomen to one side up against the inside of the hip bone. These are locations where the psoas or iliopsoas muscles connect. You should not do this exercise if you have groin pain accompanied by low back pain to one side at the waistline. That's location of a sacroiliac joint and pain there indicates a twisted sacrum for which you need a different kind of exercise pattern. If you have the symptoms of sacroiliac joint dysfunction, you may test yourself or examine yourself for the condition using the link that I've placed in the description section of this video on YouTube or in the upper right side of the screen where you see an I, letter I, on top of a big dot, upper right side. If you click that, that will open a window to a clickable link. This exercise, as I mentioned, changes muscle movement memory. That means that when you stand up again, after having done this exercise, you will feel distinctly different. I'm going to show you in this clip one exercise simplified from the program Free Your Psoas. To get a complete result, you need to do the entire program, and this is enough to give you a distinct improvement and to show you how this kind of exercise works. My name is Lawrence Gold. I am the developer of Free Your Psoas, and I developed it for my own sake during a period of time when I had symptoms of tight psoas muscles on my right side. The psoas muscles themselves are the longest, deepest muscles of the body. They're involved in sitting, standing, and walking to keep you balanced and upright. And as a central core muscle, they connect with the other movers and stabilizers of the body. The connection to the other movers and stabilizers is why you need a series of exercises rather than just one. You can't get a complete result with any exercise if you address only the psoas muscles. Here are your psoas muscles. They run from their attachments at the inner groin deep into your pelvis and attach along your spine near your diaphragm. Next to them, you see your iliacus muscles. Your iliacus muscles line the inside of your hip bones and help support you in sitting and standing. Walking into the floor. First working position. Your face turned toward the tighter psoas side. The tighter psoas side we call your working side. Legs straight, ankles matched. Push the working side knee into the floor gently and hold. Now, gently pushing that side knee into the surface and rolling your leg side to side, locate the position that holds onto or engages the most of your pelvis on that side. Find it. That's your working position. Working position. Forehead resting on your cupped palms. Bring your attention to the working side knee. Pull into the surface. Straight leg. Gently tighten the sole of your foot, calf, front of your thigh, buttock, and reach. Working side foot push down. 
Equalize the left and right leg actions by feeling one leg effort, then feeling the other leg effort, and adjusting back and forth until they feel equal. Slowly relax. Now the other leg, knee into the surface, other leg straight, tight and reach. Bent knee side, foot push down equal to the knee. Equalize the left and right side actions. And relax. Now the working side knee push down, straight leg tightens sole, calf, thigh, buttock, and reach. Working side foot push down. Equalize efforts. And slowly relax. Now the other knee pull into the surface. Straight leg tighten and reach. Bent knee side foot push down and equalize left and right efforts. Now do a series of alternations just that way until I return. Make the movement smooth and connected. And complete what you're doing. Come to complete rest. Now turn on to your back. And compare your sensations left and right at the pelvis, waist, ribs. <laughs> 